I'm back with my camera. We have been united, you guys. I have my Canon camera back. Just barely got it in the mail, and I'm so excited. I have it back in plenty of time for our vacation. So in case you're new, this camera has been gone for the past two-ish weeks or so, and I'm so excited, you guys. I need to adjust the settings. But I'm so excited to have my camera back. It's like I have you guys back, and I'm so, so excited. And it could not have been timed perfectly because I spent my entire morning cleaning the house, prepping to leave. So I'm gonna tell you really quick what I've been doing all morning long, and then we'll be back and I'll tell you what we're gonna do going forward. Okay, so I knew the timing of when I would probably get my camera today, so I purposely got the kids off to school, straight into my bedroom, straight into their bedroom, the playroom, and then have spent the rest of the day vacuuming the entire house. Vacuuming, I mean, I did every bedroom, I did the playroom, I straightened everything, I, I cleaned the kitchen, I kind of swept the floors because a certain someone didn't quite sweep as much as they should have, but I had been busy cleaning all day. And I'm finally ready to sit down to have my breakfast at my desk and knock, knock, knock comes the UPS man. So I'm so excited. I have my camera back. And literally, I'm not even done drinking my drink. It is, what time is it, 11.46. Like I said, I have been busy cleaning all day. And so I just barely made my breakfast drink. I am actually just gonna sit and enjoy that really quick while it's still cold and, and frozen and icy. And then I, I literally don't have any videos to edit. In case you haven't, heard because I didn't have this camera I was filming on my phone and I'm struggling to get the data to work on that phone so that's a whole other issue I just barely got a video to work on that camera with that footage so then I borrowed let me turn on the light here then I borrowed my friend's camera Stacy thank you but I'm so sorry to say that I broke that one he, they already know so sorry. It fell. The pure accident we've offered to help pay for the replacement or fit repairs, we're working on that. But <sighs> it's nice to have you guys back. I feel like you guys are part of the camera and part of the possibility of us doing this channel. So I am going to just finish up some stuff here at my desk. I have schedules done for the kids and their babysitters while we're gone. I have all of our gear packed almost packed here at my desk. I've got to go put these in Jason's travel bag. He wants this stick to go and do selfies with or you know use his phone with when he goes hiking on our trip. Also if you are new we're going to Maui in just a few days. You're gonna to have to wait a bit because I'm ahead on um, some of my footage because I I just am. I had pre-filmed stuff before this vid camera broke. So you're gonna see some other videos that are a little bit out of place. Just know that it all will fall into place by the time we actually go to Hawaii and you'll understand everything. I also have to go film a pack with me video today. So that was part of the reason why I cleaned so that my bedroom was clean and all the stuff is packed so that I can film that video. But I've been waiting for this camera. So I do have a ton of stuff to do. And I have book club tonight, another reason why I wanted to at least the downstairs to be cleaned. If I get the packing video done in time, we are going to make a keto spice cake. It will be my first keto recipe that I make. Jason has already started making keto pancakes and I wanna try keto waffles. It's basically just like cheese and almond flour, a little bit of al almond flour and some eggs. Try that as a little savory, savory breakfast item. But I have never done like an actual keto recipe before. So I'm going to attempt that today. We've got some cream cheese to go in the spice cake. And what else do I have? Oh, I need to get out some applesauce. So I make spice cake in the fall and I love it, but I can't have regular cake now. And so I wanna see how good it is. And I have a lot of people who have some intolerances to gluten anyway. So the almond flour I'm hoping is a good option for them. And some that are like me and they're trying to cut back on their sugars. So we take our spice cake and we pour hot cinnamon applesauce on it. And cold, rainy, foggy, misty day is the perfect day for book club to have apple spice cake. It's gonna be so good. So I gotta get some stuff done and then we'll be right back. So here's a little behind the scenes with my packing video I'm going to film uh, right now. So little behind the scenes. This is kind of how I pack and get ready to go on vacation. So stay tuned for this video. Okay, this has become a, my lunch <laughs> of choice broccoli that I ate too quick because I do love it. 
and cottage cheese. And usually I have raspberries, but they're all gone. And I'm not gonna buy more because we're leaving. Yeah. I'm but back. say hi. Hi. I have a camera back. Isn't this way better than the other one? Yeah. <laughs> it's way really different too. It's better, right? Yeah, it seems to be different. Yep. So she's waiting. She just got home from school. Stop, that makes a loud noise. She just got home from school. You went and played for like an hour, mm -hmm. right? Hour. How long have you been home? Um, well, you, you went out to play for two hours. I've been on the computer a lot. My computer just crashed. So she's got me occupied with her for a second here. She's waiting because there's an Amazon package. It's just our package day, isn't it? Yeah. We have a really cool contraption that we just got, right? She's very excited about it. It's going to be so much easier. <laughs> She's very excited about it. I actually have two things in the package. What's my other thing? Oh, I got some, well, we'll show you, but I got some washi tape. You know how I do my stickers in my little, let me show you. I don't know if I've officially showed you my Hawaii um, list. Let me show you really quick. So I don't think I've officially showed you my list. Okay, you got it, your, this scrapes on the table, her cast. Well, I can't find She's starting to like tear up our table in the other room and it's noisy. Anyway, so I've got my little packing list for Hawaii, and I love to do this little strip right here, but a lot of my stickers don't have very many of them. Like you can see here, there's only one sheet that has those long ones. There's another one in this one that has just shorter ones, like right here it has shorter ones, but I like to have them long. So I've been getting other sticker books, or like, where's one that I have used? Look at these ones, these are really cute. Look at those stickers. Total my vibe, but I also found this one at the store, so it has the long ones, but then it suddenly occurred to me, washi tape. I'm like, I don't know why it didn't occur to me to use washi tape. I have washi tape, but I don't have, I have the thick ones. Like I have the, I don't remember what it is, I think it's like eight millimeter? Anyway, I can't remember what it is. But I have a ton of washi tape, but it's just too fat. Some of them aren't. Um, anyway, so I ordered a pack of washi tape on Amazon yeah, and it comes with like minutes. 45 minutes. Yeah. Did you just check it? No, for, for one hour and yeah. 45 Yeah, it's supposed to be here within an hour and a half. Anyway, and so I ordered like a 40 pack. I mean, it was like 10 bucks. And so I will be able to use so many different colors and it was like a rainbow of colors. I need to find better not I'm not gonna put it put it in that container I've been watching for some kind of a washi tape holder it doesn't need to be a dispenser but I just want something that I either like a, a dowel even that they can go on but I'm gonna keep it here at my desk so I'm gonna use it quite often so that is what she's waiting for in the mail too you're so cute on camera look how cute you are Gracie my friend who um she lives far away now but she uh, watches our videos. Hi, Gracie. <laughs> we went for hot cocoa yesterday. It was super fun. I got her apples. Um, I, if you are local and you know me, and I tell you I'm getting the apple guy to come, you guys have hopefully have watched that video, just trust me, you're gonna want more than 50 pounds. <laughs> she didn't believe me. She called me a week later. She's like, anyway, I can get more apples. Anyway, took her some more apples yesterday. And we were talking how when she first met us, this little, this little squirt was like five or four. Yeah, and then when I was. And she was like, she was such a pipsqueak. You were like, also, down to here. And also when I was four or five. Yeah. I had to do a, the flower girl. Oh yeah, yeah. she was her flower girl. That's right, I totally yeah. forgot that. Yeah, Ashley was her flower girl at her wedding. So she was a little pipsqueak, weren't you? But anyway, so we're waiting on Amazon. I'm waiting on my computer. I hate how it just, up and decides to not work. So I stopped and got lunch and then Ashley came home and now we're waiting on our contraption to show you and I'll show you the washi tape. And I'm just editing videos, you guys. I don't think, you'll have already seen this if I don't get it up in time. Literally, I'm up to needing a video for tomorrow because I haven't had a camera. That's how backed up I am. You, well, you have had a video, but you had to use like a We had a lot of snafus. We had a lot of snafus. So. I may not be able to get this video out for tomorrow just because I have book club tonight. Usually I can edit late and I can get something up next day, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. So we'll probably just do a community post and tell you about that. And I'm sorry, you know, this is, you're gonna see, if you're seeing this, it's after the fact. 
So I apologize for not having a video, but as soon as you see this one, hopefully the next ones are gonna be travel ones <laughs> because we're so close. We are so close. So we're gonna wait for our little contraption and we'll show you what that is. Okay, our package is here. We have a drink dispenser for our milk jug. <laughs> this is gonna be so amazing. And these are making a lot of noise. Ashley, she's excited to open these too. So here's the washi tape. Super fun, we'll go through that in a second. Let's go put these on the milk jug, Ash, okay? okay. Ashley, put it down. Okay, we washed it. A little soap and water. Okay, here it is. It you looks see so it? weird. It does look weird. And then it has a little silicone thing, so you don't have to twist it on, you can just put it over. So let's see if it fits, right? Yeah. Okay, come on over here, come over this I, way. Okay. Okay, so I moved things in the fridge. I put the milk right here so that we have access to it. Wait, do you not use the cap? Nope. This goes down in the milk. <laughs> okay, I'll get over. a cup. I'll get a cup. No, yeah, you get a cup. And then over the lid, and you don't need to worry about it not spilling because you're not going to take it out anymore of the fridge. Okay. Okay, hold on. Hang on, we gotta figure this out. It needs batteries. Who knew? Okay, so we're gonna put the batteries in. Okay. <laughs> Isn't that fantastic? <laughs> oh, but we don't want drips on the floor. You, yeah, got... you don't put it right there. <laughs> Did you like that? Yeah. She's in love with this little contraption. That's kind of fun. Yeah. So when you have to pour a lot of milk, it may not work, but it does come off easy. Actually, you kind of need to like kind of hold it on there. Yeah. Well, try it again. Let me see it again. No, try it again. No, that works pretty good. That's a pretty dude. You can't <laughs> drip it. I'm not gonna go from drips in the kit in the fridge to drips on the floor right here. You have to do Let it drip. Yes. Or else, yeah. Is that Chelsea or Chelsea just came home and she's witnessing it for the first time here. You don't really care. I know. She's very excited because she doesn't have to lift the, she can't lift the milk carton. How was your day? I never catch you home. <laughs> How long are you staying home right now? Are you going to go back out and play? Yes. Can I show them your cute outfit? Look, we haven't shown your jogger pants like since you yes, went we went to, have? well, yeah, but not in like an outfit going to school. No, I just turned on that light. Look how cute she is. She's still sporty. I'm just still tired. But you're comfy, right? Kinda, kinda. But she's got like, it's a cute outfit. Kind of, this kind of top. Ow, oh my God. That was your fault. <laughs> that was all over my clean laundry. No, it wasn't. That was all over the carpet. Okay, you're gonna go get a towel. You're the one, Chelsea Marie. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm still editing one or two videos, hopefully tonight, and then I'm gonna hurry and make my spice cake. I'm running out of time. I only have four hours until book club, but I gotta fit dinner in there too. So I'm not gonna see her very, very much longer. She's gonna go back out, right? Yeah. yeah. It's gonna be like two minutes. <laughs> I know. She's gonna get a snack. She'll be right back. No, she doesn't eat a cookie. Yeah, I do. Okay, <laughs> right, I'll be right back. Is it a fire kind of night? Yeah. Yeah, my friends get cold when they come to my house, so it's probably better we turn the fire on now. She has been pulling out my ingredients for I'm our sure cake. Yeah, you're not sure about some of them. Because we didn't. We can't make this, this gluten. I think it's sugar. Um, it is sugar, but we don't need sugar. We need baking soda. You're correct. That's from the fridge. Uh, not cream and tartar. We've got cinnamon, pumpkin spice, butter. almond flour, butter, and I've got my cream cheese in here getting to room temperature. And, the egg. and our eggs are over here getting to room temperature. Okay, it's been a little while since we baked together. Abby does our baking, in fact. <laughs> so I actually have to wait before I can put mine in because Abby went ahead and made brownies when I didn't know she was going to. So this flour is expensive. <laughs> so I'm I'm using this wisely. Hang on, Ashley. No, 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 no. Not Hang on. You gotta measure this right. Okay. I'm trying. I'm I'm being very gracious to my guests in making this. Hang on, I gotta help her. Teaching her some of the tricks. We have baking powder. Yep, there you go. Put it. Yep, dump that in. Yep, and then you're gonna cut the butter in half. We're gonna melt that. Yep. Right here. Yep, right. Oh, on the floor. Yep. 
Perfect. All right, I'm not doing, this isn't a tutorial by any means, but I just wanted to show you some of the keto ingredients. We have monk fruit sweetener and the almond flour. I did not have coconut flour, so I had to just do it. I'll put the recipe down. Can you <laughs> stop making so much noise? Um, this is the recipe. Um, I will put it into the description down below. Oh my goodness sakes, the noise. But these are the kind of the new keto ingredients that we're starting to use. I'm going to be very um, limited on making too much stuff because this is this is $25 for, for both of these. We'll never eat. Yeah, it's, it's just, just too expensive. Easy, yeah. But we're going to work on it. So I'm going to put these away. We did not put cream and tartar in there. Ashley got that one out by accident. accident. Okay, so now we're just waiting for our eggs and our cream cheese to get up to temperature. Ashley, you can go ahead and stir that up. Okay. Okay, with a little teeny tiny spoon. Yeah. Yep, just get it all mixed up and kind of squish out some of those lumpies. All right, she's got our batter going and she said, oh, I need to stop and scrape my edges. You're right. Yeah. You're very correct. You got all the way around. Okay, now you can keep mixing it. She's doing it one-handed. <laughs> she can't trade off hands at this point. Also, really quick, um, I think we might run out of applesauce in like a month. <laughs> I had to dig to find this jar of applesauce. That might be old. That might be, we might be done with it before the end of the year, which is kind of unfortunate. I wish we had made more, but that's okay. Okay, got that in. I don't know if it's gonna taste good, you guys. <laughs> we'll see, but the brownies sure smell good. I can offer these to everyone who wants one, but I gotta get Chelsea to come home. You tell her she's gotta come home and do dishes, because I'm not gonna have dirty dishes on the counter when guests come. Well, I'm not gonna come and say it. She's gotta come home and do the dishes. All right, there's the cake. It's not so pretty. <laughs> we couldn't get the little parchment paper in there very good. I don't know how good it tastes, but hopefully it'll be good, and if anything, we'll drown it in some applesauce. All right, I gotta end this video. I am actually fully edited. I might get it up tonight, or you might see a delay. We'll see, we'll see how well we do. But I've got my little, well, I've got a little one right there. She's gonna eat dinner. She has French toast sticks from the freezer. Trying to, I cleaned out the fridge today when I got that milk dispenser ready. Um, anyway, so I've got my little setup here for book club. I'll fill that with some ice water, napkins, um, plates. We almost always have popcorn. I'll wait and see if they want it. So my cake is not beautiful, but I did try it because I was kind of nervous about having a new kind of cake and not knowing if it was gonna be good or not. So I tried it, me and Abby did, and I put some warm um, applesauce on it. It's really good. Having it be a keto cake, I, I couldn't eat it like plain without the applesauce on it. And actually when I warm it up, I'm gonna put some cinnamon in one of the bowls. I've got these cute little bowls and I'm gonna put them in. Say more, please. <laughs> and that's the only one we have. No, yeah, and then this one says his. <laughs> and then, the, it's a joke, mine's supposed to say me, my, more, please. Anyway, they're ice cream bowls. So I'm gonna put cinnamon in one of them and warm it up and then just plain in the other one. Even if people just want plain applesauce, they can have that. But we're kind of in a time crunch. You need to come down here, Ash, eat your dinner. And then we're gonna, or I'm gonna end up my night now and say goodnight to you guys. It is nice to have my camera back. It is nice to be vlogging again. And it is nice to get ready to go on our trip. So click that subscribe and the bell. Come back for more. <laughs> Good night, guys. Also, she's a little bummed she didn't get to use the drink dispenser because this milk has already been poured. We already like, we we're practicing with it too many times. We had too much milk poured. So go ahead and eat really quick. I have people coming over in 20 minutes. You need to hurry. And Kaylee still has friends upstairs. They need to leave. Good night. Take care.